Lines in three-dimensional space are a bit complex. They can intersect once, they can be parallel, coincident, or they can even be skew. But is it possible to find out if two lines in 3D are parallel without looking at their graph? Well, yeah. In fact, as someone studying vectors, you will be asked to do this. So let's take a look at an example. Anytime I get a pair of lines and I want to know anything about how they intersect, the first thing I do is check if they are parallel. But how do we tell if two lines in three-dimensional space are parallel if we can't see them? Well, let's take a good, hard look at their direction vectors. The direction vectors can be found by looking right here. It's the vector next to the parameter in the vector equation. If these direction vectors are multiples of one another, we've got parallel lines. And you can see that if you multiply the direction vector of the first line by two, you get the direction vector of the second line. So enough said, these two lines are parallel, right? Well, sort of, there's just one more thing we have to check. Because you see when two direction vectors are multiples of one another, all that means is that the lines are heading in the same direction. But that can happen one of two possible ways. The lines can either be parallel and distinct, meaning they never intersect, or they can be coincident, meaning they intersect everywhere. So just what case are we working with here? Well, to figure this out, we need to take a look at this other part of the vector equation. This is the part of the equation that tells us a point that falls on each line. So the point 5, 1, 3 is on this line, and the point 2, 3, 9 is on this line. If we sub one of these points into the other equation, we should be able to see if that point falls on that line. If the point is not on the line, then the lines have to be parallel and distinct. But if the point is on the line, the lines have to be coincident. So let's pick one of these points and substitute it into the other equation. We're gonna choose this first equation and we're going to rewrite it in parametric form. Remember, we take each x, y, and z and equate them to create parametric equations. Now, since we chose this equation, we'll choose this point and sub it in for x, y, z in our parametric equations. Now, if this point lies on this line, when we solve for the value of our parameter, in this case, s, we should get the same value in each of our equations. But you'll see that when we solve, we do not get the same value for s in each of our equations. And this is what tells us that this point is not on this line. Meaning, the two lines must be parallel and distinct. But what happens when two lines aren't parallel? Can we still determine how they intersect without looking at a graph? For the answer to that question, you're going to want to take a look at this video right here, and I will see you there.